Right, welcome back. So we are concatenating and uh, casting and having all kinds of uh, fun, I hope. And uh, from the other one, there was uh, we had this error message that they couldn't do this. So let me show how we can actually deal with it right away. Um, because now we're trying... So it's a number stored in a string. Let me just repeat it for uh, clarity's sake. So in this string, we are storing this number because we are casting it, converting it with I'll take a red one with this command. Maybe I should use red color for commands and green for variables. I don't know. Um, okay, so uh, let's take it green again. So let me just make an arrow like this. So we are getting this number into this uh, string by red one this command uh string dot value of number uh which is an integer so put an integer in and it transforms it to a string so we can actually store it in a string variable um all right hope that makes kind of sense now i just wanted to show you how it gives an error message you could also deal with this right away in the print statement by doing the same clever genius thing that the Java people invented integer dot uh, value of string and let's get rid of this put some many it still won't work because you're doing the multiplication inside of it um, so we have to do the multiplication uh, outside of it and now it will work so this print statement let's just run it and see what it will do and it should give 6,000 something and yeah remember from last time this is what it should give so what are we doing um, a green one a ah, blue one let's take a blue one now um, so what are we doing yeah let's take a red one actually um, I'm talking about the colors that I'm drawing with in case you think I'm does make sense so uh, yeah so uh, it was this bit that we had to keep keep outside again so times three and this star is multiple multiple three um, because why couldn't we put it inside well because like I've mentioned earlier if we put it inside the parentheses let's just do it just to have it mess up um, we still have the same problem that Java will try and um, I don't know what turns blue. I don't want it to turn blue. Um, like okay, we have the problem that if it's inside the parentheses and see this parentheses and the parentheses here, that Java will start with all this, uh, and when it starts with all this, then it'll have the same problem. It will try and take uh, the string number string which stores a number. It will take and multiply by three, so it'll be the same problem. It will try and multiply a string. Yeah, just in itself, multiplying a string doesn't work. It cannot. It it's defined that it's impossible in Java, so this won't work. But if we take the times three and let me get us, let me cut it, put it outside of the uh, parentheses then what is happening is that it's actually um, let me think I think I actually could put it even further outside so let us let me just well we saw before that it works like this but um, so no it's good like this I'm confused uh, yeah, all those parentheses it can be mad in, in uh, it's like mathematics if you remember um, when suddenly you have like uh, 10 parentheses paired and you have to see which one are the inner ones and the outer ones and then and computer programming is the exact same way so but you can always try and sorry I spoke a bit too loud you can always try and um, and um, and split it up uh, so so here we are like like in this one we are doing uh, several things at the same time and if it's too confusing for you as a programmer maybe in the beginning at least you can just split it up into 
many statements. So you can choose to have like in one statement. So this is like a this is one statement. You can choose to have many things going on. So now we have uh, the printout of uh, an, uh, a string variable that's being cast and multiplied all in one go. And we could easily split it up and it might be more uh, easy to understand, less confusing. And... Um, and other people wouldn't mind. So it's kind of taste in, uh, in programming style, what to do. But um, uh, yeah, so so I think, uh, do we understand what's going on? Let me just take it, take it again. So uh, I should split it up. Let me, let me just explain it. Uh, yeah, so we we can just so now we'll I'll, I'll try to start with parentheses. So from here the parentheses is the outer parentheses. So now I can use my colors and then green one for the inner parentheses. And um, yeah, so it will go to the inner parentheses first. And what it will do now these inner parentheses, these green ones, or well this is part of this command uh, integer dot value of. So it will start by converting the string into an integer and into a number like computer number integer and when it has done that then the next thing it will do is to multiply by and I can choose a blue one by three so goes to the inner parentheses first and do the command that's connected with those inner parentheses which is casting converting and after that, it will multiply uh, the the integer number, and after that, it will print it out here. System dot out print line. So that was a lot, I think. Uh, we are only getting started. Let me. So uh, let me see. And you could actually. So you could. Let me. I've come in this one, so we could split this up. So I just want to show you um, how you might prefer to do it, for clarity's sake. So, so let me think. If we were going to do all of this, we could store it. We could do it a bit at a time, but then we would need to store it in in other variables. Uh, so let me just do that. So, integer dot value of number string. For that, we will need another integer variable. Um, so it might actually end up becoming more uh, confusing. I'm not sure. And we call this uh, int. Uh, call it concat. Do we have a instead of sets concat. Um, let's call it int uh, string convert uh, because it converts a string. Uh, is that confusing? String convert. I don't know. Let's just call it num. Num. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I think. But yeah, I'll, I'll explain what it does. Name shouldn't matter that much. So, anyways, we have a new integer um, variable, a new integer called a number, and let's store inside of this. Let's copy a bit. So, we can copy this. Copy, paste, and uh, semicolon. Okay. So we have a new uh, integer called a uh, number, and it stores the value of whatever is inside number string. And um, it's just splitting it, splitting it up. So doing the same thing, just without the the multiplication. And um, then we can print it out just to int num f six, and it did what it should do. And um, and we could choose to have the multiplication here. Uh, no, we couldn't. Because here. Yeah, here. <laughs> of course. And then it does the multiplication there. Or we could create, then we should print a oh, moment. Uh, we could create another one. Int num mult 3, because we are. Ah, I'm not good at naming things. I just realized that. So uh, num times three semicolon. 
Yeah. So, and then print that one. Mole three. No, multiple three. Just trying to shorten it. And <laughs> yeah, and uh, it should give 6,000 uh, the same number, of course. So, yeah, that's another way. If instead of um, all is done at the same time here, whoops, we can just choose instead of doing it in a and this different and let me know we yeah we can actually do something clever i just realized uh, and num we could actually just instead of uh, creating a new one um hope this won't be too confusing we could just do like no why why not now i'm confused Oh, yeah. No, no. It's because, um, yeah, like this. <laughs> I got worried there for a second. It's always like that. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> okay. Shit. Uh, yeah. It's because, yeah, let me t to tell you about that's a bit of time. Um, so now it's doing the same thing that it's just, uh, but it's just using one variable. So it's the same variable that's just been redefined, uh, or whatever we want to call it. It's getting a new. Let me print it. Gives the same, same thing. Six thousand. Yeah. But let me show what what was the error message before because it was just because I was trying to. Um, int num has already been defined up here, and I'm going to create another. What what is going on? Java is asking. You create a new new one. What are you doing? So we don't. When it's already uh, created uh, the variable, it's already defined what type of variable it is. It's an integer. Then you you just if you use it again. Uh, even if you re-assign um, it, I think it's called, if you uh, re <laughs> redo it, um, now it's getting this variable instead, it, it, the, the same, it's itself times 3 is its new variable, so this will be put, uh, should have used red, this will be put here, uh, this will be the new number that it gets, um, it still won't like int put in front of it, so... Uh, no int in front of it, so that was the error message. And um, yeah, also this is a lot of uh, stuff. I hope that it makes kind of sense. Um, I really do. So, bye for now.